We'll get back to five sets with Dave. We've got to change the locations this week up in the Spurgeon Club and Mac Arena, appropriate for this week. But we'll get to that exactly in a little bit. Um, Coach, one and one on the weekend down at uh, Louisiana, down at LSU. What did you learn about your team this weekend? Well, that we're not playing as well as I would like to be at this point in time. But it's it's a marathon and not a sprint, as they like to say in the world of coaching when things aren't going as well as you'd like them to. But uh, we played very well against LSU. LSU is a good team. Um, they're off to a slow start because they played really good competition and they lost their best player right before the season started. But they're going to be fine. They're going to be good. They'll win their share of matches. And I thought we played really well against them, uh, beat them 25-10 in the first game. And their home opener in front of about 2,500 fans. It was a really nice crowd down there. I was so impressed with the operation at LSU. And uh, the next day, we've got to play Miami of Florida. Um, who's an NCAA tournament team. Both of these guys, both these teams played in the, in the NCAA tournament last year. Um, I knew Miami was going to be a different caliber of team. They were going to be hard-nosed and they were going to fight. Um, they played a little bit with an European feel that they don't look like they're playing very hard. They just make plays. Uh, they just see things and read things. And um, they run a very, very fast tempo to the outside hitters, which we did not catch up with until late in the, in the match. And we, got, we dug ourselves too big of a hole. We got down two games to zero. We got down 23 to 17 in game three, came back by scoring eight of the last nine points to win that one. We got down 24 to, I think it was 24-18 in uh, game four, scored eight in a row to win that game. And then up 13-11 in game five, um, we can't close the door. And so uh, a lot of great things happened, a lot of exciting things happened. Uh, a lot of things I think that will be educational for us moving forward. Definitely, and, and like you said, uh, playing a couple NCAA tournament teams from power conferences, uh, uh, once again, it's sort of a good test early in the season to sort of see where you sort of stack up outside of the Midwest, right? Yeah, you know, I, I think LSU, the way that they played against us would be a you know, bottom third Big Ten team right now. I think Miami of Florida would be right in the middle uh, of the Big Ten. And if you're in the middle of the Big Ten, you're ranked in the top 20. Mm -hmm. So they play very well against us. So uh, good test for us to be away from home. Uh, and now we're certainly excited to come back to, to play on two of our, our home courts, both Beelan Court in Holloway Gym and in Mackey Arena on Katy Court. So exciting weekend for us looking forward. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, go through this weekend match by match, the Boiler Box Challenge. Uh, we start off Friday morning, a mm -hmm. little uh, breakfast with the boilers yeah. out on, on Beeland Court. Uh, South Dakota, right? South Dakota's a good team, uh, one of the better teams in their conference. Uh, our sophomore setter, Lydia Dimke, has a sister that is a senior, a lefty, outside hitter for uh, South Dakota. So it'll be fun to have those two guys, uh, you know, looking across the net at each other uh, on Saturday morning. And this was the same uh, tournament that we bit the bullet last uh, time to St. Louis and so I think our players will remember that and I, I, I hope that they'll come out and, and be really engaged to play against a, a team that's capable of beating us. So uh, we start with South Dakota and then we move to Ball State in the evening. Another sibling uh, involvement there with, with sibling the, rivalry sibling I guess you would call that. Yeah. Big brother Steve across the net from you. Sure yeah and uh, Steve's team is five and five but he's scheduled really tough. They just got back from Washington State and uh, I think they won one of, of the three get matches out there. Uh, he's getting players back. Uh, I think Purdue fans will remember an Indiana basketball player named Ted Kitchell. And Ted's daughter is a really good player that had been out until their last match of the season. Now she's back. She led them in kills. So they're going to be a, a team with a little bit different look. Um, they're, they're not a, a, a team that I know as well as a lot of the Ball State teams. Uh, it's been a while since we've played them. And uh, I think that uh, it's going to take some work for us to get ready for them. Uh, for that match that will be in uh, Holloway Gym on Friday night. Friday night, 7.30 in Holloway. And then uh, Saturday, we've got the football game at Ross 8 at 3.30. And, and y'all play Notre Dame Saturday night, 8 o'clock in Mackey. Big match uh, in Mackey Arena. And with so much activity on campus, with soccer being here and football playing Virginia Tech, which is in a, a giant game for our, our football team. And then us to play Notre Dame, which is a bit of a rival if you're a Purdue fan. Uh, what a great opportunity to come back and, and watch. And Notre Dame is under new leadership. Jim McLaughlin, um, 
likably called uh, Jimmy Mac, uh, has won a couple national championships at, uh, in his stay uh, at Washington and before that as a, a men's coach at USC, uh, one of the best coaches in the world. And uh, he's taken over the Notre Dame program and they're expecting phenomenal things from him. Uh, they won two out of three last weekend at home, losing only to Penn State, and he's starting to get things turned around already in South Bend. Sort of a sleeping giant up there, possibly. Well, it should be. I mean, they, they've been traditionally very strong. They just started to kind of slide the last two or three years, and uh, they probably called the right number when they got Jim McLaughlin. Now, you mentioned, uh, obviously, the big football game. Do you like that? Do you like following up with a big, busy weekend, a lot of stuff going on on campus? and? Yeah, it's, it, it's great for us. I mean, our, our crowds traditionally have been good, but when you can, um, you know, uh, piggyback on top of a football game that's as big as this game is and uh, get people on campus, uh, I think that our, our program has been strong enough that people recognize it's worth the trip to come over to Mackey Arena, especially for a, a reduced ticket price and to be part of what I think will be a, a phenomenal environment. I think I've used phenomenal twice, a, a spectacular uh, environment in, uh, in Mac Arena last year, I had the estimate at about 10,000. I know that there were some that disagreed, but uh, it was a huge crowd in there, and I would like nothing better than to, to, to break that record that we had from a year ago. Well, Coach, good luck this weekend. We'll see all of you in Mac Arena Saturday night and Friday in Beelin Court. Water up. <laughs>